This is the RCS 650-6, 650 watt, 6 zone, 70 volt commercial amplifier with Bluetooth, microphone inputs, FM radio, RCA, SD and USB card inputs and much more. This will power your 70 volt speakers which is perfect for restaurants, conferences, commercial stores and anywhere else where you can set up multiple speakers all together or in different zones. 70 volt amps allow you to run large amounts of speakers at a fixed and constant wattage off of that one amp. So you could run over a hundred speakers off one amp if you match the watts being drawn by the speakers to the total wattage of the amp. Now we're able to do this because every 70 volt speaker has a built-in transformer called a tap that pulls a fixed amount of wattage from the amp to your speaker. The tap also allows you to change and choose the amount of watts your speaker pulls from your 70 volt amp. So since this amp is so powerful with an overall wattage of 650 watts, I can tap each speaker at 5 watts, giving me the ability to set up over 130 speakers to this amp. You can use the direct output and get 650 watts to a single zone, or you could use the Phoenix Terminal zone outputs and get up to 200 watts per zone with all zones combined not exceeding 650 watts. Meaning you have plenty of power and plenty of options when configuring your speakers to the RCS 650-6. And like mentioned before, or we can set these speakers up in different zones or locations through the Phoenix Terminal zone outputs on the back of the amp. So let's say we were to set this amp up in a restaurant. We can have one zone dedicated to our main dining hall, one zone dedicated to the bar, one zone dedicated to our outside patio, one for our restroom, and so on. Another benefit of this amp is that we have independent volume control of each zone, so we can set each zone at different volumes and adjust them from the front of the amp. The RCS 650-6 also has three quarter inch microphone inputs on the front and the back of the amp. The microphone you plug into the front of the amp will act as our priority microphone, which will override all other signals playing through the amp for announcements. On the back there's a mute knob where you can control how much volume will drop out from the music playing as you talk through the microphone. Each microphone has a dedicated volume knob to control the volume of each microphone. There's also an echo knob that we can use to add an echo effect to microphones 2 and 3. Next to that is a repeat and speed knob to fine tune the echo effect on your voice. There's also an RCA line input on the back of the amp that we can use for televisions, DVD players or other music sources, and a line RCA output that that we could use to expand our setup even further by sending signal out to another multi-zone amp so we have even more zones to work with. There's also an optical input so we can connect the amp with a TV, computer, or gaming system with an optical output. If you want to adjust the overall sound of the amp, you can do that by using the treble knob to adjust the high-end frequencies coming out of the amp and the bass knob to control the low-end frequencies coming out of the amp. There's a master volume control to adjust the volume of everything coming out of the amp as well as a separate volume control for all of your mp3 devices including your usb sd card and bluetooth device that you can pair right to your amplifier we can control music playback or switch the input source with the buttons right underneath the display and also with the included wireless remote control there's also a clipping indicator so you always know how loud the amp is getting to avoid clipping or distortion we also include a pair of rack ears that you can screw right onto the sides of the amp so you can mount it to any rack mount or rack bag as well as a pair of handles for the front of the amp to help you with mounting and demounting the amp. And last but not least, we have a chime button that we can use before making announcements. Now before we dive into a demo to show you guys what this amp can do, we do want you to keep in mind that we're using the lesser powered RCS 350-6 for this demonstration. However, this will give you an idea of what the RCS 650-6 can do with almost double the power so you can use even more speakers. So now let's go over to Mike to show us his multi-zone setup. All right, so we're at zone one right now. I have eight JBL speakers. These are the CSS8008. Now the wiring is really cool on 70 volt speakers. All I have to do is out of zone one on the amplifier speaker outputs, I take my positive and my negative wire, I run them to the first speaker over here. You can actually see what I did. I run them and then it's all parallel wiring. So on this specific speaker, it gets tapped based on what you wire it to. So I wanna tap this to five watts. I wire my positive wire to this orange wire here. My ground wire goes straight to the ground here. And then going into the next speaker, it's just parallel. So that is positive to positive, negative to negative. Now I did mention that I tapped the speaker at a specific wattage. I have them all tapped out at five watts, which means each speaker, each of the eight speakers is only seeing five watts coming through it. 
five watts, eight speakers, 40 watts for zone one. Let's go look at zone two really quick. So zone two, I have, again, JBL speakers. These are the CSS8004. You'll notice they're a little smaller, a little more compact, but it's the same deal. I have them wired in parallel all to each other, and I wired the orange and the black wire to my main speaker output, which just means I'm tapping each speaker at five watts. Now in zone two, I have 12 speakers. They're all seeing five watts, which means the total for zone two is 60 watts. Now zone three is really cool. We have some PV Impulse 5C speakers. So in this case, I have these wall mountable speakers. You can see they have a wall bracket. On this one, it actually has binding post and the tap actually happens over here. I just set it to what I want. So here I have it tapped at 7.5 watts. So I have three speakers tapped to 7.5 watts, which brings us to a total of 22.5 watts. This is our last zone. We have two JBL Control 65 pendant speakers, and I can tap them at higher wattages than any of the other speakers. Both of these can be tapped out at a maximum of 60 watts for a 70 volt system. 60 plus 60 would bring you to 120 watts. So what I did was something very interesting. I tapped this at 60 watts, and this speaker I actually tapped at 30 watts which is another really cool thing about 70 volts is you can tap different speakers at different wattages so 60 watts 30 watts that's a total of 90 watts for zone 4 and if we want to add up all of our zones really quick in zone 1 we had 40 watts in zone 2 we had 60 watts over here in zone 3 we had 22.5 watts and in zone four, we had 90 watts, which brings us to a grand total of 212.5 watts, which is perfectly fine because we have 350 watts on our RCS 350-6. And let's actually play some music. This is zone one, I'm gonna start bringing it up. So that's just zone one. I'm gonna bring up zone three. So if you're looking for the perfect 650 watt, 6 zone, 70 volt commercial amplifier with Bluetooth, microphone inputs, FM radio, RCA, SD, and USB card inputs, and much more, look no further than the RCS 650-6 from Rockville. 